Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be doing a progress update on the city. You guys have requested that I build a car wash and I have delivered. Really happy with this building. This initially started out as a small project but it really grew. So we're going to go over the main building here in a second. I want to go ahead and go over the other facilities. Now one thing you might notice is our new vehicle here. And I really wouldn't say this is a new vehicle. This is actually modeled after a uh, hot rod I did probably about 30 episodes ago. But yeah, nothing too special about it. Um, the only thing that's really changed, I've added the glass, which I'm not really a big fan of scrap mechanics glass. It just doesn't look that great. Uh, you do notice all the uh, bearings on the side here. The exhaust, when you... Here, let me take it off the lift here. You'll watch it all fold back. Just gives it a really nice look, so... Anyways, it's just another vehicle that you guys can play around with. So, let's go ahead. We're going to put that on the lift and try to get all the FPS we can here. Now, this wouldn't be a vehicle that I wouldn't necessarily, like, run through a car wash, so we're probably going to run the SUV over there through this. But yeah, let's cover the uh, facilities that are outside of the main wash. You've got this covered bay area. You've got these vacuums. I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. I really wish we had some type of hose material, but the pipe's going to have to do. But yeah, after you finish washing in the uh, main wash, you can come over here, vacuum your car out, dry it off, or whatever you, you know people do under these. Some, some people can spend hours at these car washes. I, to me, I'm not that picky. Automatic wash, get out and get on with your life. All right, over here, we have it where you can manually wash the vehicle. Say you do not want to use automatic wash, you can come over here. Now, I need to put a bearing up here and run some sort of gun down to the left. I've got these little holders where you can stick the gun. I just need to come up with the system for the gun itself. Now, this is the area where you can stick the coins in, select the different pressures, different soaps. Just a little touch. I think it looks really cool. Like I said, when I talk about this, this is all fake. It's just cosmetic, but sometimes I like to speak like it's actually real. Uh, now, the vehicle you see here is from the last episode. We're probably going to run this through the wash, too. Even though it's convertible, it still works. But, let's go ahead and... Let's go inside here. Now, a lot of these fancy car washes have these waiting areas. So, we're going to walk in here. And here to the left, we have a vending machine. And here to the right, we have another vending machine. Now, the left one's kind of like something for snacks. The one on the right is where you can buy, like, say you want some wipes or you want tire cleaner. That's what this is supposed to represent. Uh, I think it looks pretty good given the uh, parts and scrap mechanic. But my favorite thing about this area is it's got to be the glass. You can look in, you can see cars running through, getting washed. Uh, a lot of the big car washes have this type of area, so I really love the way this looks. But yeah, that's the area where common people would go. Let's go over to the area where the employees would go. Alright, this is where all the guts of the car wash are. Now, you've got the set of controllers here on the left side that controls everything inside the wash. Over here to the right, these are like containers with soaps and waxes. Uh, I've actually got some over to the left here that are hooked up. You can uh, see them. Yeah, everything in here, like if you see pipes running out, they all run into the main wash. And I've got, I've got everything hooked up on the inside. It looks actually really neat. And I'll, I'll go through that here in a second. Now over there, that's just a big generator. Pretty sure these things use a lot of power, so all that... Like I said, it's connected into the wall and runs out into the main wash, so... Now, these controls over here, if you need to adjust anything in the wash, you can just go over here and do whatever you need to do. Uh, it's really not that complicated of a setup. I'm going to go over it in detail here in a second. We'll just actually walk through the wash, and then we'll run some cars through it. But, yeah, really neat. You can go in here and really customize what you need to do. So, let's go through the main wash now. With Scrap Mechanic, there's so many different sizes of vehicles. Uh, the best way to do this wash would be leaving a lot of these bearings just hanging. Now, these rollers on the side are actually hooked up. Uh, these are supposed to be like, 
I would really think you'd have bristles and stuff on here, but we don't have any part that looks like that in scrap mechanics. So I use these big tanks, but those those just come out this way and they uh, they spin around. And then you've got the top roller for the roof. Now that one doesn't actually it moves, but it's not on a controller. It's going to actually move with the vehicle, so it's going to turn. Say if you have a tall vehicle, it'll go right over it. If you've got a small one, same same result. I initially was going to put that on a controller, but then I decided that, you know, if you're running different size vehicles through, it's not going to look right if you run a small vehicle through, but it's actually the controller is set up for a big vehicle. Let's uh, go under it here. Over to the right and to the left, uh, these are like rim cleaners. Now, most of the uh, car wash is set up on sensors, so if you hit this sensor here, it's going to spin those around, clean the rims. Uh, these little long pieces or pipe pieces, uh, you'll see them up here. Those are like nozzles. So anywhere you see those, that would be some sort of liquid spraying out if it's not water, some sort of soap or detergent. Uh, I don't even know really what they're using on the, like I said, on these car washes now. I mean, to me, soap and water <laughs> gets your car clean just fine, but I'm, I don't know what they all have in there. I'm pretty sure, like I said, waxes and all other crazy stuff. But yeah. This sensor here activates these second rollers. They come out and they start to spin. Now this actually fits really close like with all my vehicles. So the uh, walls of the vehicle are basically touching these. So it looks pre pretty realistic. Anyways, you go under this little shower here and you go to the last set of uh, nozzles. These actually turn in and face the car. I think it's that sensor. And then you've got one more roller here. And then we go to the drying process. Now this is scrap mechanics, so it's got to be over the top. So let's hit this sensor. That's what dries the vehicle. That is fantastic. Almost scary too, but yeah. That's about the best thing that I can think of for a car wash. Now I would have liked to have had some sort of system where it would actually pull the vehicle through, but I figure with the uh, collisions and all that, I, I don't think it would run very good and the limited amount of space. I figured the best way to do this is going to be to actually drive through the car wash. So let's grab the SUV here and we're going to take it for a little test drive here. All right, we are ready to drive through the car wash here. Now, keep in mind, you have to drive all this yourself. Nothing pulls you along. So we're going to go through the gate. It's where you would pay and get all that set up. You've got the clearance bar and I just got hit by the gate. But yeah, you've got the little clearance bar here, so if your vehicle's taller than this, you're not going to make it through the car wash. But yeah, we're going to slowly drive in. We're going to start hitting sensors. Now, you're going to so you're gonna see the uh, rollers come in first, and they'll start spinning. We're going to hit that top roller, and then you're going to see the little rim cleaners start to spin. So let's go ahead and start driving in here. There we go. You can see the rim cleaners are spinning. The rollers are spinning. It actually kind of guides you along, so that's actually really useful. See the top roller just rolls right over the top of the vehicle. And we're about to hit the uh, second rollers here. Just kind of squeeze us through. We'd be going through these nozzles and those should be spraying, or at least we gotta pretend that they're spraying. And then we'll hit these second nozzles that turn towards the car. So you're still going through here. And then we're gonna hit the last roller and that's gonna roll over. And then we're gonna get the dryers here, which are thrusters. <laughs> Anyways, you just kind of push yourself out here, and voila, that's it. I really wish I could have thought of some sort of belt system, which I probably can, but the only problem is the whole fact that the vehicles are all different sizes. Like, I think the uh, car over there is one wider than the SUV. I'm pretty sure the big truck is wider than all of them. So a belt system isn't really that practical in here, and the whole fact that, that it's probably going to eat frames like crazy so let's uh turn over here i just want to show you guys that it works with basically all the vehicles except for the the diesel over the i think it's at the gas station it probably would not work with that one but yeah you drive up to the gate here hit the sensor drive through and those are going to activate this one should be a little bit tighter to this vehicle is it no actually this vehicle you know this vehicle might be the same uh, size as the uh, SUV as far as the how wide it is huh 
I thought I built this one wider, but I guess it isn't. But yeah, we can always go in there and adjust this. So let me go ahead and just speed through here. And I'll show you guys. Like if you guys want to make it tighter, we'll just do this. Let's go into the employee area. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, you, I think it's the top one here. So I would say we close it to maybe about 45. Let's do 45 and make sure that it comes back. Ooh, it wasn't coming back all the way. Let's go at 45, 45. I think that's going to probably be enough. Let's, uh, let's send the vehicle back through. Let's see if this tightened it up any. Here come the rollers. Yeah, it did. It, they're coming, a, actually they are touching on each side now. Now I don't know if the SUV would make it through here with the, uh, it's got the rear view mirrors on each side, or the side mirrors, but I still think if you force the vehicle through, it should push those to the side, so it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Now one thing I really wish Scrap Mechanic would let you do, uh, you can only weld on the lift. Like, I guess I could take this off, weld it together, and then stick it back up, but I still wish you could just weld, like, right here. Because these, like, these rollers and those rollers over there are actually separate, so... I mean, that might be a good thing, say, if you get a vehicle that isn't completely even on each side. Uh, you could still run through it. But anyways, that's the car wash. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Uh, somebody suggested... For like a parking garage that was like the second highest suggested creation that you guys wanted to see now I don't know if I really want to build a parking garage that seems like a really big I wouldn't say waste of blocks but that's gonna take a awful lot of blocks and that's probably just gonna, it's gonna make the world lag there's no real purpose to it this is really just a town so I don't you don't see parking garages in towns so I'm probably not gonna do that uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. There's a lot of things that I'm thinking of. Now, I need to find a way to get this road around to the other side. I'm thinking maybe we're going to cut right here. And then we're going to go all the way back here. And we're going to make a big square because the road spits out right over there. So, I think... Yeah, I would think probably right here we'll make the road turn. And then we can actually make it go this way too. I just have to uh, deal with the landscape here. Uh, I could make some elevated parts, but I don't know how that's going to exactly work. Maybe some bearings and whoa. But yeah, there's a lot of plans I have for this, so keep throwing those suggestions out to me. I'm listening to all of them. I'm trying to keep up with all of them. Uh, the car wash was definitely the biggest thing that you guys wanted to see, so I think I did a pretty good job here. It's not too bad. It's not running as smooth as it was, but it's still very playable right now. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the download below, or I'm going to put it in the description below. Hope you enjoy this build. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do Turmoil, and then I'm not sure what's going to happen the rest of the weekend. I've got a lot of work to do. So I think we'll probably continue Scrap Mechanic at the start of next week, so... Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.